Neville once said that imagination will do little for us if we imagine out of compulsion. It's not until we imagine the wish fulfilled for it to take action. And again, the imagining of the wish fulfilled, it's very simple, but it has a nuance to it. In the last video, I talked about how we're not trying to get a ladder, but we're trying to climb it. And Neville gave a story about how he wanted to go to Barbados. And Abdullah told him, well, then you've already gone. When you walk outside, you're going to see the palm trees. You're going to be there. You're not going to try to get there. You're not going to think about the lack of the ticket or the lack of the money or the lack of the clothes. You're not going to think of the lack that you have. You're going to be there. You're not going to wonder about the economy or how you're going to get there, by which mechanism you're going to use to get there, how many days it's going to be. You don't think about anything of that. If you want to go to Barbados, you go there in your mind. You go there. You be there. And so you don't try to go to Barbados. You don't try to get a ladder. You are in Barbados, and you climb it. And you see the difference between doing and getting. And Abdullah told him that he, you know, when Neville got a ticket, he was going to go third class. And Abdullah told him, no, you're going to go first class. And he he ended up going first class. And the idea there is that you're not doing anything wrong by imagining greater for yourself. When you imagine greater for yourself, you're imagining greater for humanity, for God. You're a part of it. And so it, it would be in your best interest to imagine greater for you. You know, don't try to figure out whether it, you know, never when he wanted to leave Barbados, he imagined that he was on the gangplank and he left. And the lady got scared and decided not to go. It's really not about figuring out if someone's going to be scared, or if someone's going to quit or who's going, who it's going to be. It's simply exercising imagination and by imagining the wish fulfilled he needed to leave so he imagined that he left and so again it's not about who is going to be afraid who is going to give up their seat how how are they going to pick me it's really not about that you're not here to figure that out you're here to test your faith and it's a constant testing and you should always treat it like a test test it when it comes to a situation in your life and after it works test it again somewhere else and always think about in terms of testing because if you stop thinking in terms of testing you might feel like you're going to give yourself an anxiety attack if you treat it like a test you treat it more you'll imagine experiencing it and you'll treat it more lightly and you'll no longer try to get things you won't use this imagination to you won't use it anymore to try to get you'll use it to experience you'll see it as a as a way to experience the wish fulfilled. It's a mechanism you could use to experience your desire already being done. So imagination is the it's the immortal eyes that can see the desire being fulfilled. It can experience, it's the immortal man that can experience beyond the time that your senses are given you. And so the Barbados story is uh, is one of, it's very symbolic because Barbados is a symbol for your desire. It's simply the promised land. It's it's a place where you want to be. It's your desire, but you have to imagine that you're in Barbados. And so that, that applies to anything in your life. You don't imagine trying to get it. You imagine it already being so. And Neville didn't quite understand it at first. He didn't quite understand the power he was using. And that's completely okay because I think we all do that. And many of us, myself included, have misused this power for, I've seen this power be used in my life that was not in the direction I wanted it to go. And so I misdirected my power. But it is a power. And he got to Barbados and everything was planned out and everything was fulfilled. But it's not about adding a judgment to it. It's not about judging anyone for misusing the power. It's not about judging him for not having the money to for a suit or his brother gave him money for a suit. It's not to judge Neville. It's more about seeing how it worked for him. 
And if you let go of the judgments, you'll be more willing to test it because you'll find it far easier to imagine the wish fulfilled than to judge yourself. It's always better to experience the the wish fulfilled than it is to imagine out of compulsion. And to imagine out of compulsion is trying to get it. It's trying to force something into play. It's trying to force a change on the world instead of changing oneself. And oneself, you have to find it within you. And so Neville changed his orientation inside of him. He went he went from being a Neville that desires Barbados to a Neville that is in Barbados. He changed himself. And that is the story of, for everybody. And so you no longer are in the version of yourself that desires X. You're in the version that is experiencing X. Just try it. Don't judge it. But try it. To test it. And if you experiment with it, as Neville says, an experiment with uh, a faith will become an experience. And then you, you will realize that your life is made up, your future is made up of present imaginings. And when you see that your future is made of present imaginings, you'll see how important it is to imagine in the now for what you want. And you'll see how it's a waste of time to figure out whether you're worthy or not. Another way of phrasing it is that tomorrow is created by today's imaginings. And so it makes sense for you to, if you're only experiencing self, it would make sense for you to imagine greater for self so that you can have a greater experience of self. And so you have to raise your conceptions or change your conceptions, however you want to, which way you want to decide for that. But you're going to have to eventually change the conceptions of yourself if you want a better experience of self to the conceptions that you desire. But you don't change the conceptions hoping that they manifest or hoping that they express. That's just what happens here. That's just how things work. The spirit becomes flesh here. But you have to change the spirit or change what is within. And don't wonder if the ability of this power can do it. Don't wonder if it's powerful enough to change X. Go to self always. And you'll see self, as I said, is the key. And so a change in self is a change in destiny. A change in self is a change of one's future. And when you see that your future eventually becomes your past, and if you want a past that you can recall, a past that is of pleasurable memory, if you want that, then you... It, it's obvious now to see that why it's so important for you to change your imaginings right now in the present moment. And to change your imaginings in the present moment is to imagine yourself the way you want to be as if there is no future or past, no past holding you back and no future scaring you into submission. And so you imagine without those things so that you can be present with being in Barbados or being with your desire. You accept with totality that you are the thing you want to be. You don't worry about the physical. You change the mental. You change your imaginary self. And you'll see that you're one with that. And then you'll be in Barbados. And you'll walk like you're in Barbados. You'll walk in that new conception and you'll start seeing it mold into your life. So I want to reiterate that you're not here to try to get to Barbados and you're not here trying to climb a ladder. You're going to climb the ladder and you're going to be in Barbados. And that subtle difference is going to make the, a big change in your life because you're no longer going to be in the future and you're no longer going to be in the past. You're going to be present with your desire and that fulfills it. And then you apply it to somewhere else and test it, and test it, and test it. Always treat it like a test. See if it works. And when it does, again, do it to something else. But to, to wonder if you're worthy or not to be in Barbados, to know if you're welcomed in Barbados, is a waste of your time. There's no better time to imagine than right now about yourself. And again, if you want, since you only experience self, you have to change yourself to have a greater experience of self to conceptions that you desire. 
And so that clarity, in my opinion, when I saw that, that has been a huge revelation to me. Because that was revealed in me when I when I was seeing how much I struggled with imagining myself in the wish fulfilled. When I saw why I was struggling, it made sense to me. The difference between me trying to get something and me experiencing it. And I hope this clarity aids you on your journey. 